What's good, everybody? I don't really have a name for this channel yet. I, I call it the Good Games GG, but this channel's gonna be mostly on my like anime, like st merchandise, clothes, uh, manga, games, mostly my game collection also. So that's what this channel's gonna be based off. I just wanna, I don't wanna get too much into that. You guys are gonna see what I'm gonna be posting on it. But today I'm gonna be talking about some manga, some recommendations that I have, and some, um, some hauls. I went with mostly recommendations. I, I really don't know how to do, because this is my first time doing this. And like I said, a lot of these mangas I've had for a while too, so it's not like I just bought them. And I have a lot more. I just wanted to make a first time video, so mostly I'm gonna go with what, just for what I grabbed right now. So, excuse me. So today, all right, so the first manga is called Bagimana Gatari. Not sure if anybody has read this before. Um, I actually really liked this. I've watched them that I've read this, this first, and then I watched the anime. Um, basically, so I'm gonna read what the bag says because I don't want to spoil anything. So it says, one day, high school student Piyoma Adaragi, which is the main character, catches a girl named Itagi Sen Senjohara when she trips, but much to his surprise, she doesn't weigh anything at all. She says an encounter with a so-called crab took away all her weight. Monsters have been here since the beginning, always everywhere. So yes, I remember she has a thing that follows her, which is like a crab, and she lost all her weight. So like, if she gets hurt, it's gonna hurt her. So I remember something like that, and he met her, and she's actually, this chick, the chick, she's actually crazy. She has like mad scissors and pencils and stuff. Like she was getting ready to stab him. Like, it's, um, it's interesting. Like you look at the cover, you won't think it's all that. Cause even the other, like, like manga, like the other um volumes, the cover just looks like it just doesn't go with, you know, what the actual goes on, but there's gore, there's blood, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in this, in this, um, you know, this series. And I really like it. I don't really wanna get too far into what to really say, cause like I said, this is my first time doing this. And plus, I don't wanna spoil anything, but here's a picture of Sandra Hada. Like, <laughs> she's crazy. I like I like the way uh, she is, but this is Bagam Monogatari. There's a lot of versions of this anime-wise too, like Monogatari, there's like, a lot of versions of this, so the anime is really confusing to watch. Cause I I finished Baga Mon Monogatari first for the um the anime, but I read this first, which is what got me into the anime. And then I haven't collected any other volumes after that because I watched the anime. So, but really I do like I I like this, and I don't really want to get too far into it. And then he ends up with liking her too. So, but this is Baga Monogatari. Definitely check this one out. This one, I have no clue what it's about. Uh, this is Apple Sims. Apple Sims. I don't know how to say that, but that's this is it. I'm not gonna lie, the art style for this this manga is pretty dope. Um, I just wanna I'm gonna read the back. So it says the story takes place on a frigid, massive, artificial planet known as Op Apple Sims. Yo, Biko. Ethereal residents of the white diamond beam are in the middle of a combat training when suddenly a girl appears. Re Bedion Empire soldiers in hot pursuit. The girl asks for their help in keeping a safe, safe a cold, and seven mysterious bullets. This chance encounter marks a major shift in the fate of the entire planet. So, um. Like I said, I don't really know much about this one. I've seen it and it looked really interesting. The art style is pretty cool looking, you know. I actually really like the art style for this uh, for this um, manga. Like I said, I I don't like I said I don't really know a whole lot on it. The reason I say that is because, like I said, I've never read this yet. And then recently, I went to uh, this one store and it had more volumes of it. And I'm not gonna lie, the cover art for some of these on this is pretty. It's it's pretty dope looking i'm just gonna show a little bit more it's pretty dope looking so that's why i kind of not um it's, it kind of wants me to buy more of this but this is Apple sims here you go definitely check this one out it, it does seem interesting and, and i never hear anybody talk about this one but all right next one okay so here's another book manga called elf and lie i recently not recently recently but about two months ago i uh recently got into the anime of this and i actually really like it i finished it 
but I've heard that obviously they always do this. I don't know why animes and mangas always do this, but obviously uh, the manga does a little bit of different things than the anime does. The anime left off on like a cliffhanger. I mean, it, it gave it a happy ending because supposedly, I don't want to spoil it, but supposedly something happens to the, the, one of the main girls in the end of the manga compared to the anime where it, that didn't happen. But um, it's basically, she is like a, not a human. She, they're called, um, I wonder if it says it. A die clonius. So those are like some type of human that has like they're like they have power, a certain type of power, and they always have like the the ears. You know what I'm saying? So when people look at them, they look at them as like they're not human. So I'm gonna read the first volume. I already know what happens in the beginning. So it says captured and isolated against their will, the die clonius species are at a threat, waiting to break free. When a young Diclonius girl, Miu, which is her, escapes from the research facility she was being held in. She manages to find Sol Solus and two allies until danger finds her again, putting everyone at risk. However, her enemies soon realize that they're in over their heads as an attempt to subdue Neo results in unspeakable tragedy. Lin Akimoto's beloved series is now okay. So, um, the first part they have her in this. Like I said, the facility, she's, they got her captured and um, she is like the, the queen of the Diaclonius. Um, her real name is Lucy and they have a name for her is Kyoto or something like that. Um, but uh, what happened was when she escaped, she got shot and fell off a cliff. And when she found, I don't want to spoil it, I was going to say she has two types of, um, emotions like two personas there you go it's neo and then it's lucy which lucy is the real ver like who she really is and then neo is neo is like her lost memory version of her like more of a goofy and and not understanding a lot more like compared to lucy but do, don't look at this cover like it's uh it's uh let down don't judge a book by its cover because this is actually really i really i really liked it um this one it has war and if you're not into nudity it does have nudity in this, uh, mostly for the for these for these characters, because there's more than more than just her. There's other ones out there like her. Um, I just want to say their superpowers is really cool, and there's gore like this. I like it. I want to say definitely Lucy is my favorite character in the series. So check Elfin Live. If you have not checked Elfin Live out, check it out. Okay, so here's part of a, a panel from Elfin Live. There's Lucy, the guy that she's messing up. There's a lot more gore than this to it, so I'm not showing the whole thing, but this is just a little panel that I wanted to show. So, without spoiling, so definitely not trying to spoil. Next, I put a lot of people onto this one, and I still haven't finished, obviously, if you can see, I still haven't finished the volume one because I just, I got so much to read. Hell's Paradise. If you don't know nothing about Hell's Paradise, please check out Hell's Paradise. Like, this is a fire. Uh, if like if you miss Naruto in a way, this is kind of a shinobi ninja type of thing. Um, Gabi Moro is like the main uh, assassin uh, ninja. He's well known. Um, I just want to say um, the art style, the killing. There's a lot of gore in this. Um, I'm gonna show you. See if I can find a part. I just want to say this definitely reminds me. I just like this. I really like this. I put a lot of people on it, and my dumb ass still haven't finished it. I uh, finished volume one. This is sad, but um, the art style, everything about this was just very interesting. And uh, I, I really, really liked it, this one. I didn't finish it though, which is sad. But Gabi Morrow, the Hollow, I'm going to read the back. I don't want to spoil anything. So Gabi Morrow, the Hollow is one of the most vicious assassins ever to come out of the ninja village of Iowa Clear. He's, he's ruthlessly efficient, but a betrayal results in him being handed a death sentence. He has only one hope. In order to earn his freedom, he must travel to a long hidden island and recover an exiler that will make the Shogun immortal. Failure is not an option. On this island, heaven or hell, hell, or just the hair's breath away. Oh yeah, so what they're doing right now is going to this island. They're trying to get an exiler to make the Shogun um, immortal. And it's not only him, there's more prisoners that are going out there. And the one, I think, I think it is the one that finds it is the one that 
gets to be free. I think that's what it was. They get to be free. Um, so right now they're in the island. They're looking for it. People are fighting. Supposedly that island, nobody ever came back from it. So um, like I said, I haven't finished it yet. Um, obviously that's not the whole. This is not gonna. That part of the story is not gonna be only what it's about. Obviously there's gonna be more to it. But um, yeah, uh, Elf Paradise. Do not skip out on this one. Check this one out. Check it out, please. All right, so next manga I got is called um, Bloodsucker. Um, these I got at a antique store a while ago. So I bought them because he had one and two. And the art style for this, I'm not gonna lie, looks pretty sick, especially on volume one. Actually, they both look sick. So this is what they look like, the art style for it. Even the back, like the art style for the back looks pretty sick. I, I, so I just picked these up. This is parental advisor, so obviously it's probably some type of nudity or something in this. Um, but I'm gonna—I don't know really much about this. Like I haven't gotten into it really, so I'm gonna read the the back summary for it. So it says, three centuries ago, the vampire Magari ran a, a reign of terror across Japan until he was decapitated. My bad, decapitated and sent to an eternal damnation from. Whence he came, that is, until now, Magari is, has been resurrected, and the only thing standing in his way of his vampire army and his salvation is Yusuke, who has a special connection to the warrior who defeated Magari centuries ago. So, that's really the summary for this. Like I said, I personally don't know much about this. Like I said, I've not gotten into it but it, it i like old school um anime old school manga because the art style for these obviously are more manly and not always based off high school kids and and uh and even though this this it says vampires it, it doesn't look like it's only van like vampire things like some of the characters look like it just looks cool like I, i'm gonna get into this one of these days because I, I want to when i first grabbed this and i seen it i was like i'm hella interested in this um, like I said, see, look, it's got samurai parts in it and all that. I'm trying not to spoil a lot. Obviously, you guys don't know what's going on, so I'm not spoiling. I'm just trying to show some of the art on here, which is pretty dope looking. Um, you know, like I said, I don't know much about this. I wish I did, but I personally don't. So sorry about that, guys. Um, look, even guns. It just looks, it just looks pretty cool. I mean, like <laughs> even the first page of this looked pretty cool. Like I'm gonna show you guys real quick i wish i knew more about this but i don't so it's just is it the first page look head cut off samurai it, it looks dope but um yeah it's blood sucker blood sucker like i said i don't know much about this so just sort of like uh that's that's more of a haul now this series i love this series i love the anime i, I just love this series um you know, let me show part one. Daruru. I love Daruru. Um, here's part two. And then here's part three. Find three. I love Daruru, man. I, I, the anime and, and everything about, you know, this series. I just loved it. The main character, Hyakamoto, he's well, my favorite character from the series. Uh, I just, I just really liked it. I really liked this. Um, so the story is based off obviously the main character here. Um, once when he was born, his father. I think it was before he was born. His father wished because his his land was going through like a famine, like it was failing, and so he wished he did a a, a trade with the demons, the devil, and acts to make his land live lavish and and continue prospering. Um, he said, I'll give you anything. And one of the things he gave him was his son's body before he was born. He has two kids and he has a brother. Hakuma has a brother. So when he was born, he was born with no skin, no, um, no, just, he had no skin, no face, no, none of that. Like he was just a, 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 a what do you call it? He just looked like meat from Mortal Kombat. Like his, without eyeballs, he was just a skeleton with just, like just red and so what happened was they wanted to kill him he wanted to kill him because obviously the father was like what the hell so they wanted to kill him but the mother didn't want to do that so what happened was 
they were the girl that was supposed to kill him brought her brought him to a ship where he was um supposedly gonna die but she put him on a boat and shipped him away like put him out of the river and someone found him and raised him so what you see is he has prosthetics as you can see his uh legs his arms everything about him is prosthetically made so and he can't see um or an anime version he can't see in the beginning but um yeah so he didn't have he, and so he was training with uh prosthetics so his journey right now is to get back his body parts so he has to kill each demon to get back his body parts i think certain ones give him back his body parts so he's on a journey to get that back and with his little uh the friend uh the um the rural she's um kind of there to keep him sane because there's times where he gets crazy and without her he would he probably wouldn't be the way he was um she kind of kept in the anime she kept him sane the manga is actually kind of different because uh in the beginning he actually knows how to talk i don't know if he knows how to see already because in the beginning he can't see or nothing like in the anime he can't see talk or um none of that he can only see by like vision colors like red something that's evil be red or um something like that um so yeah I, the anime to is kind of different compared i mean the first part of this was kind of the same that i will say but there's certain parts of this that's definitely different because like i said he can talk in the beginning um compared to the anime where he wasn't able to talk and uh all that but i think he can like, he can't see in this though like he can't see in the beginning of this there was the monk some of the, the monsters and stuff and it's kind of crazy too like the demons and all that i like this because it kind of gave me not 100 percent inuyasha vibes but it gave me like you know like i like this type of stuff the old era of japan and um stuff like that it really i like i like this you know i'm gonna read the summary because i don't want to keep on this so that young swordman travel alone through war-torn japan hunting demons whatever they might hide his name is yakimo as soon he crosses the path with the rule an orphan who steals to survive the rule can't help but wonder who is this demon hunter with skin as cold as ice and blades hidden inside his own arms so obviously prosthetics um you know he trained his he trained most of his young life with prosthetics thanks to someone that kind of saved him um here's one more little thing and i want to say i want to say this really is really different because as you see look in the in the manga the brother has white hair now he has white hair and and it seems like it's kind of it's def they definitely did different things with this like i said it, it look it looks really different like he has white hair and he doesn't look like the way he looked in the anime if you guys watch the anime he doesn't look the same the brother but um yeah that's the legend of the rule and yakima so they named it the, i just called the rule but that's what's called in the anime definitely you have not this this one i will recommend 10 out of 10 i love this i, I just love this series next is i i recently just got into this one undead unluck undead unluck um this is actually pretty unique i've actually i actually really like this one um i think if i haven't really read much of it i skimmed through it i've seen a lot of snippets of it and it caught my interest um you know it's pretty cool looking um manga and i believe this is going to get popular sooner later because like i said i'm i'm starting to see it a lot more on twitter and all that uh i haven't got far into it so i don't know all i know is this this guy is dead but still alive and i think she has like some type of luck problem um so i'm gonna read the, the back it says tired of invertently killing people with her special ability unluck fuku aizumo sets out to end it all but when she meets andy a man who longs for death but can't die see how it is like she gives people's death but then he can't die you know what i mean so it's like um she finds a reason to live and he finds someone capable of killing the death killing him the death he's been longing for all Fuku wants is a passionate romance like the one in her favorite show <laughs> shoji manga unfortunately her unluckability makes that impossible but just as Funko hits rock bottom and he sweeps her off her feet literally now she's become Andy's unwilling test subject as he works to find a way to trigger a stroke of unluck big enough to kill him for good however when the pair discovers a secret organization is hunting them, hunting them it puts Andy burial plans on hold oh yeah so that's why there's people that's looking after these two um the art style on this is pretty it's 
pretty sick. I definitely, um, I, I like this one. I haven't gotten too far into it. I'm um, definitely, this is one of the ones I want to get into. This is I read, I have a lot to read and I also have a lot to go through. That's my problem. Um, it's so hard to, you know, go through a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Damn. Um, it's so hard to go read through a lot. <coughs> it's so hard to read through a lot of things, man. Like, it really is. And then I watch a lot. So it's like, you know, it's really, really hard to finish <laughs> a lot of these things, man. It's a lot. There's a lot to, you know, read from. But this is Undead Unluck. Get this one to go. Definitely one that's going to get popular soon. I know it's going to get popular. I, I already know it's going to get popular. Next, I actually like this one. Though. It's definitely slept on. Zombie Lone. I'm just gonna call it Zombie Lone. Zombie Lone. Zombie Lone. Um, I actually really like this one. Um, I watched the anime about four years ago, and then I recently read this one about a year ago. Um, because the anime never finished, so I, I bought the manga. This obviously is not in Barnes Noble's. You only find this on. I found this online by somebody selling it, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna buy it because, like I said, I really like the anime. It's just the anime did not continue. Um, so let's talk about it. Uh, what I know already is that as you see, see the girl with the glasses and him, uh, the two, the two main, so I don't know if you can see right here, the two main, these two right here are dead and she becomes dead later on. But what she can do is she can tell when someone is dead by looking at their necks. They have like a, um, uh, a black thing that goes around her neck because she for some reason can see that type of stuff and then they notice that um their point of living is to kill the undead and pay pay it off in a way because they want to come back to life they both died and they want to come back to life she didn't want to get into it but then she ended up dying and then they brought her to that so now she's part of their group and they also do the things together um so i'm gonna read the back Three teens spin a soulful tale of death and resurrection. Michiru, a weak spirit girl who has a hard time saying what's on her mind. I remember she is definitely kind of shy like that. One day notice a mysterious ring-like marking around the necks of two of her classmates, which is the two guys I was talking about. Chika, Akatsuki, and Sh Shito Tachibana. Two boys who miraculously survived a horrible ac accident, which is, they didn't survive, obviously accident six months six months ago Mitrio possessing the rare ability to see these rings knows that they warn impeding death thinking that perhaps she can do something to save her classmates lives she approached them but seems the boys have already made a different kind of deal and guarding themselves a heavy death so um this is pretty cool i like the those oh yeah that's right they're stuck together too in a way like when they fight, the only way they can fight is that they have to put themselves together. Um, one has a sword and I think the other has a gun. I really like that this is pretty dope. Like look, this one, this one was definitely a pretty dope one. Um, I like weird stuff, I like weird anime, I like all types of all types of different things. I'm not the type to want to stay to one thing. Um, you know, showing and jump only, all this type of stuff. Like I didn't finish reading this because I already know what happens in this 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 volume. Um, but yeah, the art style, everything about this one is pretty cool. Um, I said, I didn't finish reading this. I was, I was reading this at my, my, my one job and I just kept reading from there. But where it's getting at is obviously, it's, it's, this is where they, I remember, this is where I was at in the anime. But like I said, I, I watched that like four years ago. So I don't remember things a hundred percent. Um, I don't want to spoil, yeah, there's too much spoilers here. So yeah, Zombie Lawn, definitely check this one out. Uh, it's definitely a unique one. I liked it, so give it a go. If you see it, if you want to get into it, give it a go. This one is hella interesting. It's made by the same makers of Dead Man Wonderland, which is I'm going to show next. Um, anytime you see a Gen Zai art and story by Tomo Hiro, they make amazing series. Uh, here is Living Stone. This is a unique. A series now I won't say it's the same as Demon Wonderland. Like this is more of like not actiony, more of like investigationy, more like um it's different. I won't say it's gory. I mean, there's part. I, it's hard to really say 
It's definitely not like that, man. When, if you're looking for action, action, like on a regular, this is this is probably not for you. This is more of an investigator type of thing. Um, you know, the two main, the two these are the two main characters. They're both on the same team. They both investigate. So the idea of this is to save people's souls before they turn to like a stone. If they turn to stone, they die, or or they um, turn to some crazy thing. I forgot what. Not crazy thing, but like they they're not themselves anymore once they once it turns and the, they want to they save souls. So I'm gonna read the summary. Probably says it. Oh, it does. Okay, so every soul has a plan, but if you stray from your de destined path, your soul stole called him called a cyclist becomes tainted and shatters, bringing misfortune to all that encounter it. The mission of of the uptight Sakurai and the free spirit Amano agents of a company called Livingstone is to find souls in danger of straying and keep them pure. If your life seems to be flying off the rail, rails and everything just seems wrong, you better hope this odd couple finds you in the time to put events back on course because if they're too late, they might have to help you along, along on your journey to the next life, which is death. So what they really do is they save souls when people um, start losing it. Im Amano is this kid. This kid kind of reminds me of Juzo a lot from Tokyo Ghoul. Like his personality, in a way, kind of reminds me of him. Um, this, this, this. Uh, like I said, see how they, like, they have completely different mindsets. Like one, Sakurai is saying to save you, and Amano is saying to kill you. Um, they're, they're <laughs> this is a unique piece of work. Like I, I read the first two volumes. Um, souls you know people lose their souls they start looking crazy and, and it's 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 a, a unique piece of work i want to say you guys are definitely 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 get this one to go like the way they it's unique i like i like this one like i said i finished i've read a bit of it you could tell it looks like that man one that heart styles and stuff like that this is definitely a, a, a good one you guys should definitely get this one to go like i said i really like it this one I just haven't found any of the other mangas to, uh, I think something happens when the stone is not healed, right? I think it explodes or something. See how that they put, I forgot. Like I said, I haven't read this in so long, so I don't remember. Like I've read this like last year, so I don't remember everything about it. Um, I just remember this. I see, I'm remembering some of this now and they could have saved him and he died. Yeah. Give Livingstone a check out. Like I said, it's a unique piece of work. This couple kind of looks funny, but. Get this one to go. Last but not least, Dead Man Wonderland. Um, boom. Dead Man Wonderland. One, two. I'm just gonna show them off each. Three. Four. Five. Six. There's obviously more, but. And then seven. I like the way her she looks. So Dead Man Wonderland is based off of the main character. Um, hold on, let me get the first one out. The main character, I forgot his name. What the hell is his name? The main the main character is him right here. And this this is Shield. Um what happened was he gets framed for killing his whole class. His whole class in um school. Meanwhile, he wasn't the one that did it. You see the guy right here. This guy is the one that did it. But he gets framed because after, you know, the, that guy left, he's the only one left at the, you know, the class where all the kids are dead. And he gets framed for that. And he goes to a place called Dead Man Wonderland, which is a prison for prisoners in a way. Um, so you can see like, this is the part that I'm talking about where they all died, blah, blah, blah. Um, so they, he gets to, you know, everybody looks at him like shit. Uh, even the parents of those kids think he killed them, so they look, they looking at him like he's horrible, and they hope that he died. Blah blah. Um, Ganta is his name. There you go, Ganta. And um, you know, now he's at Dead Man Wonderland, which you know, this is where they take him at. And Shiryu actually knows him. She knows him before he even went there. Like they knew each other when they were young. But she's a unique person, and she's also I don't want to. Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil nothing, but. She's different. I would say she's different. Um, but yeah, if you guys like gore, action, and and 
a lot of things that goes on in this is, is pretty crazy. Like I really, I, I like Dead Man Wonderland. Um, I actually really enjoyed Dead Man Wonderland. I wish the anime continued. A lot of people probably wish the anime continued. I totally wish that the anime continued because it didn't. It sucks that you know that that has to be that way. Um, I really wish the anime continued. But now the goal for them now in the prison is to be able to make to get these candies. So, right, so they wear these things around their neck. Um, which can kill them at a certain time if they don't eat these candies that keep it from killing them. Like it gives them more time to live. Um, those uh, those candies. So the thing around the neck is like a poison that if they don't eat these candies, they're, they're gonna die. Um, so like <laughs> some crazy stuff that goes on on this. But if they don't eat those candies, they're gonna die. And you know, obviously, you know. I don't want to spoil it, but I have to show this. The gore. She has a whole face in her hand. <laughs> look at all the look. The mouthpiece. She's my favorite. I like I like her. She's my favorite character. But what they do is they try to make enough money to live uh live in Dead Man Wonderland. But and then they also get the candies to live. So, you know, they're being tortured. And there's more like Ganta out there. Ganta ends up getting a power after after seeing him. He puts a, a, a um, like a thing inside of him, and now Ganta also has power too, blood power. They use their power by blood. A lot of their powers are from like blood. Um, it's a pretty dope concept. I really liked this one, man. Like if you guys have not seen it, it was the candy that I was talking about. If you guys have not um, checked out Dead Man Wonderland, if you guys want to see the anime, read the anime first. I mean, you could watch the anime first too. The manga is obviously better. Um, you see how he has a power there. Definitely give this one a go. Dead Man One is probably one of my favorite mangas that I have right now. Definitely give this one a go. All right, this is gonna be my last two. I actually have a lot of mangas, so I really don't wanna get into a lot of them. Um, so I'm just gonna show off what I got left. So next one is like a zombie one. This is called Hour of the Zombie. Uh, I don't even know why I picked this one up. I just saw the way the front looked with the zombie face on it, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna grab this one because why not? So I just grabbed it. I haven't even read it yet, so I don't know. Obviously, I'm pretty sure it's about zombies. Um, I like weird stuff. Like I said, I've, I've always been into weird, unique manga or anime stuff like this. That's just how I am. I've, I've always been that way. Um, so I'm just gonna read the back of it, see what the story's about. Life is good for for Nikario Akira as he spends his days at school alongside his friend, a long time crush, Karumi, that is until the day everything changes. Students suddenly turn into frenzy zombies, attacking and gorging themselves on one another. Then <laughs> just ab abruptly they stop, or do they? What caused this to happen and how can Akira and his friends possibly survive when they don't know who would be the next one? next to town so obviously it's, it's a zombie um I, like i said it's probably a straightforward story i've only bought it because uh i was just interested in, you know i like weird anything weird and different like in a way i just I, I i like stuff like this gore blood um craziness uh i just i've always been that way i like i've always liked it like the art style on this looks pretty sick you know Looks pretty sick. Um, so I, I, you know, I, just, I picked it up because why not? You know, why not give something? Every everything. Hey, sometimes you gotta give the lowly ones, the ones that aren't up, aren't popular, give them a try. Because sometimes they're a, a hidden gem, unique piece of work that you'd be like, oh, this is freaking really good and fire. Like I really enjoy this uh, this manga. I don't really want to spoil much. I just want to show off some parts. Look at her jaw. <laughs> Some zombie parts. Um, you know, like I said, I don't know much about this. This right here looks pretty cool. I don't know much about this, so don't. I'm sorry about that. I this was a random pickup. I randomly picked this one up. But yeah, uh Hour of the Zombie, volume one. Please, um, y'all all gotta know this. Vagabond, the legend itself, Vagabond. If you don't know about this. Please know about it. <laughs> this is a legend. I 
like Vagabone. Um, this is a dope. I, I like I said, you got. I love the samurai lifestyle, the era of Japan. I, I that, I'm really into that type of stuff. Um, like you know, Vinland Saga isn't samurai, but it's in that era. Um, you know, samurai-ish type of thing, samurai champloo, you know, stuff like that. I, I just love the samurai. I just love the, the lifestyle. I just like just, I just like it in general. Um, but Vagabone, this is a good piece of work. Uh, all the bonds are really big. The art style is pretty dope. Um, I, I truly, I like Vagabone. This is it's a dope manga. Um, let me see if I can find some art, some cool ass art in the beginning. Some of the fighting and all that is pretty dope. The art style in this is pretty dope. Um, uh, Vagabond is basically, the main character is a samurai. He wants to become one of the strongest samurai. He comes from the dirt. Like, you know, he comes from like the struggle and uh, he just wants to become like a, a, like the best samurai. There's really no other explanation for it. I just know he wants to become like the best samurai. Um, you know, he wants to become a strong samurai. Um, I, like I said, I have, I have not gotten too far into this. I've, I've, uh, I think I've watched something on it. Cause it's based off a true story of, of a real samurai. Um, that's what it's based off of, of, of a true, like a real life samurai in that era. That era is based off, um, you know, a real samurai. Um, I just like the art style. I, I like this old school type of stuff. I, I'm really into this. And oh yeah, there's a manga that I read. Yes, Samurai Deeper is another one that I like. It. It's in that era. I'm gonna show that in another video because I don't know where it's at. I haven't found that. It's kind of old. When I find that, I'm gonna show it in another. If this video does good, I'll do another one. Maybe like manga recommendations again, hauls and stuff like that. But Vagabond, I guess I don't want because it's kind of. I don't want to say it's straightforward. It's I don't want to spoil anything. You know, the Samurai. It, it's it, it's good. Just give Vagabond a try. Um, if you have not. What are you waiting for? You just want to try the books. They're all big like this, but um, if you like that old school era, that old school Japanese, not high school kid only type of ish, Vagabond is the way to go. Definitely one of those ones to go. But um, uh, that's it for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys want to see more like manga or um, recommendations of hauls, you know, I, I want to show stuff like that. I was thinking about showing off like the clothes that I buy, the like, t-shirts and all that, like anime clothes and merchandise, also figures that I collect. I would say I'm going to show games. This channel is going to be more of just for my collection stuff in general. Um, that's really where I'm at with this right now. I'm trying to think what else can I really do on here. And then I have my main channel, which is, I'm going to put in the description below, is Trap Lord Gianni. Yeah, you guys definitely check that one out. I'm at 700 subs right now. I'm trying to reach 1K before the, 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 the year ends. So if you guys are watching this and you like video games and anime video games, mostly I do that. I do anime games on that channel. Um... I hope you guys, you know, check that one out. And if you guys want to see more manga that I collect, I'll do another one if this does good. Like I said, I kind of enjoyed this. It was difficult. This is my first time, so please bear with me for how I did this because like I said, this is my first time doing something like this. I mean, manga-wise, like, you know, I don't read, I have not read all of them. It takes time to read a lot of them. Some I had for two years, three years, a little bit longer, and I still haven't read it because I just read so much more. You know, it's really hard to keep consistently with stuff that you know because i'm not i'm not a book book person i'd rather watch it but when i buy a manga it's mostly for mangas that don't have an anime that's what i try to do most of the time um or the anime just never continued so i don't really buy a manga that an anime continues like attack on titan i don't read that because attack on titan the anime is good i'm not gonna read the manga i mean yes there's probably different things on it but if the story goes the same route I'm not gonna read the manga. But I do read the Attack on Titan before the fall, which I really like that. I'll put that in the video in one of my, my next videos if I do this again. Um, but like the My Hero, I'm weird. I, I read the My Hero Vigilante one more than the actual My Hero. So like, you know what I mean? I'm weird like that, this is how I am. Like I, I, I just prefer uh, different things. You know, a lot, like I said, a lot of things that I showed, a lot of them don't have an anime. Or some do, or some just never continue. I, but that's just how I am, you know? That's just how I am. Like I said, I have a lot of the mainstream stream ones like Jitsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer. Um, you know, uh, like I, I try not to collect a lot of the mainstream ones. You know, I have Demon Slayer and Jitsu Kaisen because I've read those before the anime came out. That's why I have those. Um, 
you know, Hell's Paradise. Uh, it doesn't have an anime yet, but it's, I heard it's getting one. Chainsaw Man, I have that too, but I'm not gonna read it because the anime is coming out for that too. So I'm not gonna read it anymore. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna stop talking. The video is probably long already. I made it probably made too long. Uh, if you guys wanna see like anime clothes that I collect and all that too, I might post that. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoy the season. I, I almost said my, my gaming channel. Good Games GG. I might change the name for this YouTube. I don't know what's gonna be the name yet. I just put that because I thought. I'll stick to just games only, but and I don't want to just do that. I want to show everybody everything that I got and put people on certain things that might really like what I show and this and that. But uh, yeah, I, I'm going to say that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know what you guys think about each of these manga. Let me know if you guys read them, if you guys enjoy which one. Let me know if you guys want to know more about one. I, I have a Discord. You know, we can talk on there if you want to chat. Um, I can also show you more that I have quicker um, on there. Um, Right, let me know which one, which is your faves out of all the ones that I showed. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. I'm gonna stop the 11. I'm here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.